I thought this was so 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 beautiful. I really really loved the flute work. I thought it was amazing and I loved the physicality of her playing and it really became, it really transcended her playing an instrument and it became more than a performance. It became movement. It became this flowing kind of energy or, you know, from the music that the flute was creating to the way that she was moving and the way that it all kind of wove together, I thought was really, really beautiful and really, really amazing. And then to be surrounded by nature and to be surrounded by this beautiful, you know, forest and all this greenery and all this um, nature, I thought was really, really just added something to it because of how melodic and raw the the flute was and I really really liked it. I thought it was amazing. Dansang. Uh, the Dansang was a absolutely I would say relaxing film. Uh, it really made you it really makes you uh, get in touch with nature again even though uh, I'm not in a nature environment here, I'm in my room watching the film, but I could really feel the nature, the trees and the, and the sound, the, the, the beautiful melody, uh, along with the, uh, the dance performer, the movements performed by the main character and the, this great sound design and the, the sound of the wind, you know, I think uh, overall it just made me uh, feel like if I was there, moving uh within the nature like in a forest with along with the main character i think overall it was a, a very well done short and it just honestly just gives you it just gives you peace you watch the film and you feel at peace at ease with your mind so um i think that that's pretty much what we need sometimes you know just watch a movie just to relax and find ourselves again and meditate Great cinematography and great direction to on top of the uh, fantastic sound and sound design, as I say, and the music. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Overall, a great short film. Congratulations. All right, I just finished watching um, Dan Sang. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I thought this was a very um, beautiful piece, um, both in style and performance. I thought that the um, main performer, obviously, um, she had to carry the entire piece, and she had um, a very fascinating performance with the flute. Um, it might not be a flute, it might be a more specific um, one bit, um, type instrument, but I thought that the piece had a, just a really great sort of spiritual and ethereal feel, especially because she was in nature, and I thought it had an idea of sort of like uh, putting herself into nature with uh, sounds and approaches that would be typical of nature, and I thought she was trying to show a blend of um, what she was playing and what, the, what she would normally hear in the forest. I thought her performance had a really great sense of like um, cadence as we move through the piece and to the different settings and different aspects of the forest, through rocks, through trees, um, or juxtaposition through the sky and on um, the backdrop of the tree trunks. I thought it all really worked well to create a, a very um, like ethereal experience and a very um, naturalistic experience that I thought um, worked well to make the piece um, enthralling and engaging. So I thought it was um, well done, well performed, and was shot in a way that gave it a really sort of um, introspective an intimate vibe that I thought um, worked well for the overall themes of the piece, so I ended up enjoying it. Dong's song is very interesting in how it combines the worlds of nature and music together. It, <clears throat> If you really think about it, nature itself always had a kind of melodic aspect to it. If you ever go outside and you hear the bird songs, we literally call them bird songs, and that's what I feel like Dong Song really uh, excels at. Uh, it turns an instrument into essentially an animal. Uh, the entire time, it, even though you know it's an instrument, it kind of sounds like uh, an animal you could hear out in the wild uh, if you were just wandering one day, just hearing it in the distance playing its song. Uh that was a very fascinating aspect of it, and I thought that was really cool. Dan sang. Well, this felt like a very spiritual instrument performance piece by a woman who played a large woodwind instrument, something like a Japanese flute. 
a beautiful player. Uh, her movement throughout the forest trail while she plays, it may have been improvised choreography or maybe staged, but beautiful and really suit the movement of the music. Her pieces were long and lilting, sometimes quick, sometimes slow, and she moved in and out of a beautiful old ancient ruin of stone wheels looking like an old mill. That was really interesting. Uh, her songs seem to tell a story and the phrases change. There is bird song throughout the piece, which is so beautiful because it sounds like they're responding to her music. Just really nicely done. Playing a traditional wooden flute while walking through the forest is a different way to tell the story of the forest. I kept waiting for her to talk or dialogue to come over it, and it never did. Um, but it still was beautiful to watch. It's a beautiful place. The cinematography captured that as she... And then the music, of course, where she's playing it. It was a beautiful film, and just the different locations of the forest, the scenery. Seems like a very peaceful place to play music. As if you're complimenting nature in itself with the music to pl that she's playing. Because that is what it felt like. It felt like she was complimenting nature. Going along with the sounds that are natural in nature. It was absolutely beautiful. Her music was very beautiful as well. It's I don't know exactly what type of instrument that was. Some type of wooden flute. But I did find it, what she was doing, amazing. And the, it really did complement the gorgeous scenery that was around.